Hi subscribers, hi viewers. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, this new feature, this new cryptocurrency that's now on Paxful. As you have uh, seen, I started trading some cryptos on Paxful for something like, uh, it was about like a year and a half now. And um, that was last year, I've been trading some cryptocurrencies on Paxful, but I've been involved in cryptocurrencies for a long time, very, very long time. And uh, sometime last week, I thought I should do a video about this. Sometime last week, we got a new coin, the USDC. So the US dollar coin, so it's the USDC. So it's a new coin that's been added. Recently, we've just been trading uh, Bitcoin, uh, Tether, and uh, Ethereum. Those are the, are, the, are the coins that we've been using, really. Uh, so what happened is... Um, now we've got the USDC, which really it introduced itself on a, um, I can say, on a level reasonable price. And this is now helping to do daily trades. Like today, I've really managed to trade uh, to, to, to buy some Bitcoins and Ethereum. The reason why I'm saying so is I'll show you this chart here. Let me come down and drag and drop uh, this and put it on, the, on this monitor. Let's take a look at exactly what's been happening within the last two days, or the last day, within the last 24 hours. Uh, Bitcoin is going down, Ethereum is going down, Tether is going down. USDC is the same, just stays uh, at the same amount. Now, what I want to say is, um, I'll come back here. Like I've always told you, always buy uh, Tether and USDC, mainly Tether and USDC as is backup coin so that when the Bitcoin and Ethereum drop, you can just buy um, Bitcoin and Ethereum using uh, using using Tether and uh, USDC sort of the USDC. Now, with what's happening is um, is I now do this. Now I've got more leverage, really. Like I, I said, when Bitcoin and Ethereum drops. Uh, Tether and USDC uh, really they stay the same, but when these uh, go up, these money stay the same. But when these two, I said, when this uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum drop, the Tether has been going up in most most cases, and USDC has been going up in most cases. So now I have to come back and show you this to prove this. It's not a theory, but it's an, it's a it's really. Uh, something which I discovered. That's how I back my coins. And I remember sometime, uh, something like uh, three three months ago, I put fifty pounds uh, just to try to build it up. I've not been buying recently, and uh, I just been selling a little bit um, my cryptocurrencies, and uh, just to try to reserve some on the cold wallet. So what we have now is take a look here. Uh, the thing has been the same, and. Tether does not drop by much. So you see within a week, you see that there's evidence that within a week. So let's go down to within a month and I show you this. So what I suggest is you buy and sell when there's a need to. So the USD coin here is um uh the US the USD coin here has been the same, I can say for the last month. I don't know. No change much, but it's it's been stable, and I can say within the last month, uh, Tether has dropped as well. We know why the cryptocurrencies are dropping, and we've had the issue with FTX. If you remember, if you do watch some coins or some some crypto news or read some crypto news or do any crypto research, you'll be aware of uh, TFX exactly what's been happening. It's been said news in the crypto market, in the crypto world, that there's been some speculations of what's going to happen with the cryptocurrencies. And uh, some people are saying this is the end. And so we've heard that before, but really you don't have to invest all your money in one basket, in, in only eggs in, in one basket. So now let me show you what I was talking about. With Within the last year, I can say Tether has gone up by 13%. So that's that's when I started really backing up my cryptos uh, on Tether just to buy if uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum drops. And this, they've been dropping by over 50%. So if I've been doing what I'm doing, really, I can say 
is stable and I've managed to acquire some a few cryptocurrencies that are especially Bitcoin that I'll be I'm waiting for them to mature. I'm waiting for the gains so that I can make the little bit profit because mainly I've been using Tether just to buy the Ethereum and Bitcoin. So it's, it's good news for us and uh, it's good news to trade. If you watch some of my videos, I show you how I do it, how I do it. You can see here I've been converting my cryptocurrencies. I've just been converting, not much though, just to stabilize things. That was the price difference. On what's been happening so I converted like I said some te some uh, some tether into ethereum and uh, some USDC uh, to bitcoins that's what I did today so I can say this was uh, I'm not sure this uh, ethereum to USD that I'm sure that's this was yesterday that's not today yes a few days ago when the USD came on, came on, so it was on the 20th, if not the 19th, it was on the 20th. So please subscribe to the channel, um, like the video, leave a comment. And um, I can say Paxful for me has been a stable platform because that's where I managed to to really start practicing uh, due to some restrictions and my geolocation. I'm having problems with other platforms as well. And, you know, it's gambling. Don't put all your money on a... Um, it's a, it's a lesson hard learned for a lot of people. Do not put all your cryptocurrencies on your trading platform because once it goes down, you don't get your coins back. So that's the mess that everybody is going, is going on with uh, FTX. But I'll be doing videos again every now and then regarding uh, Paxful, crypto trading, amongst other things. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment.